As of late 2010, Lethbridge Stewart was still on assignment in Peru and could not attend the 11th doctor's staged funeral. His daughter, Kate, dropped Lethbridge from her name when she joined UNIT in an effort to avoid favoritism. He mentored her until his death. Among the positions he instilled in her was, science leads, something he learned from, an old friend. She took his teaching to heart and, by the time she was posted as UNIT's head of scientific research, troops were subordinated to her office. According to one source, along with Doris, Mike Yates and Benton, he attended the wedding of the doctor's former companion, Bernice Summerfield, to Jason Kane in Sheldon Boniface in 2010. By this time he knew of his terminal illness. He had only weeks to live. As ever, danger and adventure followed in the doctor's footsteps and he had his youth restored to him and the disease rid from his system. In the same year, Alistair Gordon and Doris Lethbridge Stewart went to Luke Smith's second farewell party before Luke was going to the University of Oxford. While many sources portrayed the now rejuvenated brigadier as living into the 2050s at least, many suggested that he passed away during the 2010s. During a boat outing with Doris, Lethbridge Stewart's boat capsized and Doris was drowned. This haunted him for years. In 2012, the brigadier met the doctor's eighth incarnation in Avalon where they got caught up in struggles between that realm's ruler, Queen Mab, and the unseelie court. The brigadier remained behind in Avalon once the struggles were resolved. At some point after the death of Doris, the eighth doctor came to visit and brought many of his old friends to see him for Christmas. However, another account held that Doris outlived her husband. In fact, a third account showed the Brigadier and Doris meeting the Eighth Doctor in Sheldon Boniface on Christmas Day 2017. In his last years, he lived in a care home and kept a drink out for the Doctor in case he visited. To set the record straight, he dictated his fully unclassified memoirs to Harold Chorley. This included the first public mention of Havoc. In November and December of 2011, he corresponded with his old friend Pearl Hammond, herself in a rest home, and talked to her grandniece for her Sandhurst work. While he told Kate she was his only visitor to encourage her to visit more often, in truth Lethbridge Stewart was regularly visited by an incarnation of the doctor, who would sometimes hide from Kate to maintain the illusion.